Blackpink has been conducting a Born Pink World Tour concert for the past year since October 2022 with a total of 64 concerts in 24 different countries and 34 different cities around the world. They also broke records and history as the most popular concert with all tickets sold out. Today August 24, 2023, via their official SNS, Blackpink finally revealed the location for their finale concert. The concert, titled, Finale, will be held at the stadium in Seoul, Gokaik Sky Dome, on September 16 and 17, with September 17 to be streamed live online, which can accommodate up to 25,000 spectators from fans around the world. In fact, Blackpink became the first girl group and Asian female actress to hold a concert at the Gokaik Sky Dome, Seoul. This will be the highest attended and grossing show by a girl group in South Korea. Although it caused a bit of confusion among fans because they believed that Blackpink could sell more than 25,000 tickets, because Blackpink itself has performed concerts in various parts of the world from Asia to Europe with ticket sales of up to 80,000 which were even sold out. They have more fans and Gokaik Dome is too small for them. Meanwhile, ticket sales will start August 29th at 8pm KST specifically for Blink's Webis membership while general sales will start September 1st at 7pm KST. Then for online ticket purchases they are also on sale August 29th at 8pm KST. On the other hand, YG Entertainment also announced the pre-order for a special edition of Jisoo's solo album entitled, Me. According to the agency, Jisoo's Mi Photobook Special Edition Mi, which will be released on September 18, is planned to repay the fans who generously support and love their first solo album Mi. In response, Jisoo participated in the production and design of the song Gratefully, adding something special to it. The photobook is filled with a total of 176 pages, including various undisclosed jacket pictures that couldn't be included in Mi, as well as behind-the-scenes photos from the music video for the title track, Flower. In addition, various components such as postcard books, selfie photo cards, Polaroids, stickers, transparent photo cards and luggage tags are also prepared. Most importantly, 103 Instax movie photos were included as a limited number for Jisoo's birthday, January 3rd, so it is expected that fans will respond enthusiastically. In other news, Jenny Ruby Jane appeared charismatic for a photo shoot for Elle France magazine which was photographed by Camilla Akrins. In this photo shoot, Jenny appears with her visual radiance with a different makeup than usual. Jenny gave a sharp look, with eyeliner that made her look very swag. Even in other photo shoots, Jenny also shows her sexy side with various poses plus a simple background. Not only that, Jenny has added history to her career in the model world by becoming the first and only Korean artist to decorate the cover of Elle France and appear in nine categories of Elle magazine around the world and the second Asian artist to appear on Elle France after artist Maggie Cheung in 2004. Congratulations Jenny!